peeps and welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number Tarot. It is a different vibe over here because today we're tapping into the sign of Capricorn for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. Wherever you have the Capricorn placement in your chart, you can apply this too. Before I get started, DM my Instagram in the description below. If you'd like your own private tarot reading, you can ask whatever question you want for your read. Like this video, please subscribe to my channel and comment below what video you want to see next. So let's get right into it, Cappy. What do you guys have going on during this time? <sighs> I actually don't feel like those were your cards. <clears throat> what are the cards for Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to hear? It was the protection and friendship card, though. If you're curious, if it's meant to be, they will come back out. I feel like you guys are discovering something. Something's coming out of the dark, perhaps. An epiphany. All right, all right, let's get into it. Let's start here, let's start with purity. Uh, always trust the purity of your heart. Look inside and within it, you will find the answer to your question. Yeah, you guys, that was literally what I was picking up on. I'm like, oh, I feel like Capricorn, you're stumbling upon some information and I feel like it just comes to you. Like maybe if you've been wondering about someone, like you're seeing something online and it's not even something that you were looking for. Like it wasn't something you were going out of your way to find. It's just like the resource, the answer is just really landing on your doorstep. Solitude, uh, think of being alone as meaning you are all one in total harmony with everything. The greatest treasures are those that wait silently during your quiet times. Yeah, I feel like you guys are spending some time alone and you're really kind of thinking about something and I feel like there's just a moment where things just go blank and then voila, like there's something coming up here for you guys. What is going on? Magical blessings, so this is good energy. Um, whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies tell you you can bless others too. So yeah, you guys, tapping into this energy, I feel blessings coming to you. You can also bless other people. I just feel you guys in a really good headspace. I feel you guys in a really good headspace. You may be working a little bit too hard though. We have find balance. Try telling a Capricorn to stop working. It's just not going to happen. Uh, find the balance between your work, rest, and playtime, and you will have more energy, harmony, and, product and productivity in your life. Take a power nap. So you're definitely being called to slow down. I feel like you guys have been working, working, working towards something so hard that you haven't even had any time to realize, hey, you have like a big stack of money you done saved up, or hey, you have like all of these new things that you didn't have before. Like, take a little moment to indulge that acknowledge that you know like you know take a moment slow down Capricorn I feel like you guys have really been going hard but you could be close to a burnout and then we have moderation. Is there something that you know you shouldn't be eating? Try to eat mindfully and healthily, although the fairies say that a little bit of what you fancy is fine. Moderation is definitely important in so many areas. I just like got on like a Grubhub kick, Uber Eats, ugh. I honestly hate myself so much for it. I weighed myself this morning and I gained like six pounds, which isn't a big deal, but it's just annoying. Like, I knew that was gonna happen. Make sure you're eating in moderation. Make sure you're being healthy. Make sure you're consuming certain content in moderation. Don't watch too much of the news. Don't watch too much drama TV. Don't watch too much tarot, okay? Um, definitely spend some time to sort out what it is that you're thinking and feeling about yourself so that you can make sense of everything kind of coming towards you. I feel like you guys just need a moment to process and you haven't taken that moment to process. All right, what's going on here? Hmm. I feel like some of you guys have romanticized someone or something. We have the two of wands, the two of cups, and the page of cups. You may have been seeing a lot of twos 
lately um but with the two of wands i feel an energy for you guys like it's it's almost a need for you guys to make a decision about what it is that you want i see that your heart is open capricorn which is good but i feel like it's almost a little bit too open it's either one side of the spectrum like you're romanticizing someone who's not good for you or your heart is too open to where any old body can get through or you have like a certain idea or lifestyle um that you really want to achieve like maybe you want to be a little you know have a little short baby action okay you want zaddy to pay for your bills period per <laughs> felt but i feel like what it is that you want may not be the best at this time I feel like there's a, an energy of you guys kind of ignoring all the options that you have. Eight of Swords to the right, this is definitely like going out of your way to ignore the options that you actually have ahead of you. Hermit in Reverse, it's kind of an energy of you guys make, having have made up your mind as far as what's good for you or not. But I feel like there is... Hmm. I feel like there's an adjustment that needs to be made definitely feel an adjustment that needs to be made you know what you don't want but ace of cups in reverse tower in reverse like i feel like you guys know what you don't want capricorn but you're seeing someone or a certain situation as something that you don't want and i i don't know i don't feel like that's the truth i i definitely feel like you're seeing you're not seeing things clearly and i think that's why you need to take a moment to slow down and make sure you're not working 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 for nothing we have the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Swords. You may be operating or, you know, doing something from a place of being hurt. Like, I feel like you may be choosing to go for a certain kind of person because someone else hurt you in the past. But it's like you're not even seeing this person for what they truly are. I don't know. I, I definitely feel a... Uh, I, I feel like a... A pause moment needing to happen at the bottom of the deck we got the four of swords here so i feel like you've really been thinking about something but you're not seeing the dualistic nature especially if you're seeing the twos we have the mask that wanted to come out magnetic oh you're so drawn to someone or so committed to a certain idea that you have no idea that things aren't what they seem and it's like the lion and the lamb <laughs> you know wow yeah we have the magnetic card and then the mask so you're definitely drawn to something that won't serve you or you're seeing something as something else than it really actually is we have crazy for love here Ooh, look at that see this is what i'm talking about we have the secret admirer card here and i just feel like this person isn't so secret like i feel like you're just not wanting to <laughs> like you're, you're not wanting any parts in that i don't feel like the secret admirer is actually hidden from you like i don't feel like this is something that's actually hidden we have be honest in persuasion if you're honest with yourself i think you would see the situation for what it actually is capricorn i almost wanted to say scorpio for a minute maybe you guys have a venus in scorpio Woo! that would be a wild connection or a wild uh pairing like a Capricorn with a Venus and Scorpio <laughs> big chaos energy anyways we have the persuasion card and be honest so I feel like if you're honest with yourself you've almost persuaded yourself into liking someone or wanting a certain kind of person and it's just like the universe is like it's not what you think it is it really isn't but I feel like you're already so committed to this idea or this person or just like there's something that you've already made up your mind about but I don't feel like you you know exactly what this is okay let's see oh maybe a one night stand uh we have blast from the past wham bam thank you ma'am and let's take a break you may be on a break with someone that you really just had a uh, a more sensual connection with which would make sense i was getting all that scorpionic energy um but we have wham bam thank you ma'am let's take a break and blast from the past so i feel like someone from the past is really on your mind or maybe you're thinking of the sensual times that you guys had together and you're kind of like oh maybe i should hit them up maybe i should call them again like you know kind of tricking yourself into feeling like you want to be with that person or you want something more from that person really you should maybe pay them dust but it's like you're kind of convincing yourself mm, maybe that wasn't so bad or maybe i'll just settle for someone who wants something more sensual and maybe it'll grow into something more like i don't know i definitely feel like a co uh, compromising energy 
we have time out and focus on yourself. You definitely need to take a, a time out, Capricorn, because if you act off an of impulse right now, it may lead you down a path that is not at all what you think it is. And here's the whole tea. <laughs> I'm not even getting that this path or whatever this alternative option is a bad thing. I can't say don't do it. You know, like I'm not getting a message where it's like, oh, this path that you're considering is going to be horrible. I'm not getting anything like that. But I feel like there is a complete ignoring of the other side of the coin. I definitely feel like there is like a complete ignoring of your intuition. Like you just want to just kind of gaze off into the, you know, distance and just think of something as, as good or think of something as bad even. You know, there's just like an ignoring of the full spectrum or the full picture. We have it's all good, past, present, and future, and discernment. Huh. It's all good. I may break that down with tarot. Past, present, and future. Yeah, you're definitely reminiscing. You're thinking about your present now, and you're wanting to integrate your past because you're like, ugh, this present moment could be better with this person from the past. And then you're also thinking about the, the future like, ugh, I kind of want, you know, I kind of want to just pursue a certain kind of future, but you know i never want to experience what i did in the past you're you're really kind of needing to use your discernment though we have the discernment card to the right and you're really going to have to analyze the situation it's, it's interesting very interesting how i'm just getting this energy of capricorn thinking and thinking and thinking about something maybe it's just me personally wanting to know every little detail i just heard virgo too your fellow fellow earth sign maybe it's just me wanting to know every little detail but i really do want to know like is this a good or bad thing like i don't know i feel like maybe you guys already know the answer we have unlimited possibilities in masculine energy so there's a masculine energy really on your mind right now we all have masculine and feminine energy that doesn't have anything to do with gender but there is someone who does exude um more of a shortness than you do and it makes you confused it makes you feel like you don't have the ability to say everything it is that you feel maybe you didn't get the opportunity to really express yourself and that's what's bothering you that you're feeling like there's you know questions left unanswered there's things that you didn't say that you wish you did say um, i'm pulling for it's all good to see what that energy is about okay wow look at this you guys you guys are walking fast towards some long-term stability and relationships and finances. That is the direction your life is going in. I feel you guys questioning now, though, who you want to share it with, who you want to share it with. We have the three of swords in reverse and the five of wands in reverse. So you're not confused. You're not heartbroken, but it's just an energy of you really have a decision to make and you can feel that decision creeping up on you. You know, you're going to have to make a decision soon. Um, and the universe is just asking you to see all sides of a situation. Three of cups in reverse. I don't see you about to enter a situation that's going to be a third party situation. If you've dealt with a lot of third party situations, Capricorn, I don't feel like the phase that you're about to enter is going to include that. I feel like it's going to be good. It's all good. It's going to be good. It's going to be comfortable. Relax. Don't feel anxious about this, but you know, don't allow this situation to scare you, but you do have to look at the full spectrum of the situation. Two of Swords, I just see a big avoidance energy, and it's like you guys are going, you know, forward in your life, but what are you going forward to? Like, you know, it's not all of everything isn't about work. There's other areas of your life that are being neglected. Maybe you've been a boss. And you've been working, working, working hard on, you know, getting your money up, getting your business off the ground, up and running. But I do feel like there's other areas of your life that have been neglected. If you've been seeing a lot of 333 as well, that's a, a call to make sure your mind, body, and soul are all in alignment. Which is funny. We got the moderation with the body here. Um, we definitely got fine balance. So, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling a call for you guys to make sure all areas of your life are on the same you know wavelength are taken care of we have the bison dragon and the panda bison abundance success and personal power you're being guided to be flexible go with the flow and allow things to happen rather than force them universal opportunities are stacked around you send to yourself and resonate with your core values and you will reap many rewards yeah it's just a matter of not choosing something because of what you've been through but choosing something from a place of balance so for an example say you were looking for a sugar pop 
there's nothing wrong with looking for a sugar pop but don't look for a sugar daddy connection just because you dated someone broke and you're over paying for dates that's not that's looking at one side of the situation what else was coming what else comes with a sugar pop connection are they going to be expecting you to bust it open on a handstand every friday night okay what else comes with that you guys it's there's definitely a need for you to address every angle of the situation and then we have the dragon card wisdom spirituality and abundance you're being guided to tap into your inner wisdom and find your higher purpose you have a unique gift to present to the world the time has come to showcase yourself and your abilities be strong and courageous through your transition absolutely you're going through a transition but make sure that you're you know when you're when you got your bow and arrow and you're about to let it go, make sure you are aiming towards the bull's eye. What's going to be the best, what you actually want. Make sure you don't get distracted and mm, let me try to shoot this bird going around. Like, no, make sure you're getting, you know, straight to the point. And then we have the panda, 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 panda. <laughs> Balance, harmony, and detachment. You're being guided to remove self-sabotaging thoughts and feelings. No longer label yourself and others. Take a step back and find the harmonic balance within your life and its relationships. Align yourself with your core values and embrace the magic of today. Yeah, Capricorn, you're definitely being called to look at your situation and make sure you're making a decision because it's what you want, not a decision because of something that's happened in the past. Don't create your future based on, you know, what's happened in the past. Use that wisdom and that intuition to, you know, guide you. Yeah. Queen of Cups in reverse. I feel like you may be trying to make a decision just for for protection reasons instead of allowing yourself to, yeah, possibly get hurt, but to go for what it is you're what you're you're really wanting because the universe is going to protect you. You don't have to do that part. So yeah, Cap, that was your message. DM my Instagram in the description below if you'd like your own private tarot reading. You can ask whatever question you want. Like this video, please subscribe to my channel and comment below what video you want to see next. I love you. Be careful what you wish for and I will see you in the next one.